Doesn't this road look crazy? It's literally on the edge of a cliff. What a way to welcome visitors in this campground located on top of an open ridge at 2,600 feet above sea level. This place is called Co Ranch Campground and it's inside Henry W. Co State Park, which is the largest state park in Northern California. This is also where I'll first get to try what they call primitive campsite. So according to its website, this campground only offers what they call primitive campsites. If you're not familiar with that term, I guess it basically means no showers, flushing toilets, or hookups. There is however pit toilets, a fire ring, picnic table, and a potable water faucet nearby. So I initially booked that campsite you just saw. However, as I walked around the campground, I saw that there were other spots that have better view. Like for example, this site, which is site number eight, this is its view, which is just beautiful. And the reason why I didn't book this site in the first place is because when I went on Google Maps Street View to check this very spot right here, this is what it showed. That is the bathrooms, pit toilet. As I walked to the visitor center where I'm supposed to check in, I passed by some historical buildings and items belonging to the original family that owned this place in the early 1900s. And as you can tell, they were a family of ranchers. I always find it very interesting whenever I see these kinds of things and places because I feel like I'm getting a glimpse of the past and how people used to live before technology changed things and before the world became what it is today. So this is my first time camping in cold weather, or at least cold in my standards. You see, I grew up in a city where it was always high 80s to 90s daily, so to camp at a 30 to 40 degree weather is a real challenge for me. Even though I've been living here in the US for 10 years now, I still find myself craving that daily tropical weather from time to time. I'm glad California isn't as crazy cold as the Midwest, but I think I'd actually do well in Florida or Hawaii. So for this one night camping trip, this is the only food that I brought. I definitely didn't want to bother with something complicated to prepare and cook, so I brought the most convenient and typical kind of camping food that I could find at home. And I guess that's one good thing about being away from the kids, I don't have to put that much effort into what I should prepare.
so cold. But I like it. The sun just set. This is my view. Maybe this is gonna work. Oh. Oh boy. Ah! Nope. Can't. So this Lasco heater says it's 200 watts, but my 200 watt anchor battery showed it was eating up more power than that. So this was definitely a fail, but oh well. Good thing I brought a heated blanket to keep me warm for a while, and this one's only 100 watts. So for tonight, I didn't have any movie to watch, so I just decided to read a book and do stuff in my computer until it was time to go to bed. But before that, I of course had to do my night routine, which is brush my teeth and wash my face. Here, as you'll see, I brought a speaker and my good old 10-year-old iPod so I could play some music. I definitely couldn't have picked a better spot. Not only I can watch the sunset from here, but also the beautiful sunrise. I am not usually a morning person, but I always purpose to wake up to watch the sunrise whenever I do solo camping because for some reason, it's just more glorious when you're waking up out here in nature. Yeah. 